it's part of sort of our everyday lives. We eat off it, we drink out of it. Um, it's just sort of there in the background as this thing that can be, ultimately it's just a lump of mud. It can be made into whatever you want really. And I think that's, that's something I've always been really drawn to. I'm Alice Johnson and I make pottery pets. So I went to University of Brighton and did illustration. I was always drawn to sort of working in a 3D way. Sort of I started with papier-mâché and then air drying clay and then I eventually sort of plucked up the courage and went over to the ceramics department. So I'm currently working on two whippets called Bunny and Cedric and I think you can really tell their characters from the pictures which is really nice. I always really like doing whippets and greyhounds because I think they have got such sort of, they always look so scared but then they always have that sort of glint in their eye if there is something a bit naughty going on under the surface. You usually start with the head and then hollow it out a little bit and and then join so there's a hole going all the way through and then I will sort of refine it and put ears and tails. I think having a sense of humour is always key and that with the pets I don't want them to be sort of realistic and lifelike and it's more about capturing their essence. The goal, I guess, is if what I make can put a smile on somebody's face or bring a little bit of joy to someone's day, then I think that's my job is done. I think it's sort of almost like this little portal of sort of a way, so if it's passed down through the generations, being like, oh, this was grandma's dog and it would do this, this and this. And it's a way to sort of tell stories of things that have gone before and it's that I think that's really important to me to sort of have something that will last forever.